All right, so here we are, and here's the fix. Uh, broken wire. I've already trimmed it back a little bit, and I've added on a piece of our good silicone. Check it out, a mini O3, no, not a mini O3. This is a mini 3.0 motor. It's like a 130. Um, it's not as, the 130s that we normally work with are newer because they got the newer housing because this one's got the um, basically this would be considered a top mount it's meant to sit flat but anyway and it's got this guy on it you know how we feel about those but it ain't hurting nothing it ain't helping nothing let's all we got to do is join these two wires and we're going to use some heat shrink to do that and we're then what I want to make is a way so that the wire can't get just get pulled by pulling this because as you can see when I pull that it pulls on here so I want to make a cable grab so that it grabs onto something else other than our our joined wires so let's put a little bit of uh, rosin paste on both wires our silicone wire it's already been tinned and everything and soldered on right there okay so let's uh take the helping hands here let's get let's get a third pair of hands in here somehow because i want to i want to join it like that let's just get you guys in like that and move you around there and we can take our tweezers and We got the rosin on. Let's get a little bit of solder. Okay, I want to make this a flat join. Oh, I know some of you guys are like, oh, you should make it a twisted joint. No, we're making it a flat join and we are going to heat shrink it. Just like that. See that? Nice. So now they're joined together. If I put the battery in now, I can turn it on and it would totally work. So let's see if we can get this halfway, right in the middle, right about there. Yeah, that's not, not, not bad. Let's zoom in a little bit, you can have a look. Okay, now before I heat shrink it, let's clean our soldering tip off with the wire brush. Otherwise, I don't like my heat shrink to look like it's got solder all over it. So let's go ahead and just touch it in a few places, get it shrinking down. And shrink it. Yeah, see, I get a little solder on there. I prefer that I didn't have any. And this, the original wire is that's that is not wire that we would ever use for anything. Um, it's got that melting sheath on it, which I don't like, and it is just stranded copper uncoated, which I also don't like. Whereas the silicone, is, it's like a silver coated copper, so it's really good and it's not messy. All right, we got a good heat shrink there. Yeah, we do. Okay, wires back together. This thing totally worked right now. So now what I want to do is so the wire routing for this, we gotta get them to match up. We'll probably go ahead and put this guy back together. See if we can remember which way you go. And as you notice, okay, we're facing to the left right now, and the red wire is on its closest to us. That's not the way we do it, but this is a battery powered thing, so that's fine. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm gonna go like this. Hold it. Let's let's uh, check this guy again. Okay. That's the way it goes, like this, like that, okay. And then this guy goes around, this guy goes around, and then they come around and down like this. Huh, there's a little notch there. Okay, so I'm going to goop, I'm, gonna, I'm going to do some goop in here just a little bit so that 
it uh, we're not just pulling on bare wires again. We don't want the same thing to happen up top. Then we got to figure out a cover for this. If I could find one of my gondolas at a coal load that came with it, one of them plastic coal loads, I think I could slice it. I could put it on here and maybe even attach it with screws or something so you could change the battery, but it won't fall out and it'll be more robust for kids. All right, so we got the electrical part done. 